Hi, if you've ever tried coding a game for the Commodore 64 in BASIC you'll know that it's painfully slow, except of course if you use a compiler and that's what I'll show you today. Hi, I've been developing a game, it's not finished yet but I'm getting there, but I've been coding it in BASIC and I just want to show you before I compile it what it looks like if I play it in BASIC. So I take off, as you can see it's just impossible to play. Even though I've gone through and tried to optimize the basic code as much as possible, this is just not playable, it would drive you insane. Ok, so let's have a look what it looks like once it's compiled. Ok, now this is the compiled version. Oh, it actually responds. Oh. Let's see if I can shoot it. Yep, got him. Get my guys on board. And get get back to base. Oh. Okay. It's um as you can see it's a whole lot different than uh, trying to play this in basic. It's actually quite a playable game now. And in fact I had to slow it down. I uh, fully optimized, it ran too fast. It's amazing. A, a one megahertz system from forty years ago, uh, the problems I'm having once compiled is that it's too fast. It's crazy. Um, I couldn't believe that. But anyway, so here's the code and it. Uh, if you've watched previous videos of mine you'll know that I uh, write the code in BASIC in a very efficient way, uh, optimized to be uh, compiled and um, that might make for a strange looking code, not quite that easily readable but it certainly allows for the compiler to, to do its thing. The particular compiler I'm using, it's called uh, Boss Basic, and I'll show you a little bit more later, um, has uh, some other tips in it to further improve performance, which is uh, the main one I found is by defining these uh, variables. So this rem command actually defines these variables as bytes, integers, and words. And uh, when I first had an at symbol, the at symbol is part of the syntax required to get these to work, when I had all of these uh, with the at symbol, like I was saying before, it just ran too fast. It's, it's crazy. Uh, so I actually removed the at symbol. So I've actually had to detune, uh, remove the optimization um, from the game to get it to make it playable, to slow it down. Anyway, so it's a very effective process that I've come up with here for producing retro games quickly and easily. No assembly language required. And um, what I'll do now is I'll actually bring up the compiler. Okay, and it's super simple. You just type in the the source file name uh, OR8, and away it goes. It starts compiling, and what it'll do, it'll save the compiled version simply with a uh, plus in front of the file name, and there's your executable. So aside from writing efficient code, and um, using these definitions for all the variables, that's all you really need to do. If you go through the manual that comes with, there's uh, probably a few more tricks that I didn't probably pick up on. I just sort of briefly read through the uh, the document, but uh, there's certainly a lot of scope to uh, to really optimize your basic code. And it, uh, as you've seen with this, it uh, the improvements to the game are dramatic. Anyway, this will proceed for a while, and then it's um, it's finished. It's really that simple. Anyway, hopefully this has been interesting. Uh, like and subscribe and all that. Thank you very much.